Tears of the Kingdom was my most anticipated game of 2023 and I played a lot of it during 2023 and made a lot of videos about it in 2023. But I didn't actually beat the game. It's one of those things where when, when you have a good open world game, I really like to savor the experience as much as possible. And also other games came out like Mario Wonder that also kind of sidetracked me. Tears of the Kingdom was a slow burn of a game for me. And 2024, I started the year being like, I want to beat Tears of the Kingdom. So I start grinding and my goal was to complete all 120 shrines. At this point, I had already completed the underground and unlocked all the light routes. And my main goal to beat the game uh, in my brain was finishing the shrine quest and then beating Ganondorf. As I'm doing the 120 shrines, I had put off the fifth sage quest for a really long time where you get Mineru's mech. And because in my mind, I was like, oh, if I do the Mineru's mech quest, I might accidentally get too far into end game. But I decided, ah, oh, you know what, F it. I'm gonna go find the mech. Silly little me. It was very ironic. Instead of going to Mineru, I actually ran straight to Ganondorf on accident. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to do that because getting to Ganon is super convoluted and you took the longest way ever. I know, and you like... just have to think maybe this feels wrong. This giant scary hole, this jump off a chasm. You know, I didn't. <laughs> you know, when I realized that I accidentally had gone to the final boss instead of. When uh... he stepped out? <laughs> yeah. When he it... stepped out and he was like, huh, it's me. He's like, hello. I've been waiting for you. I'm like, oh, maybe this isn't the final boss. And then he starts transforming from old decrepit Ganondorf to muscle daddy dwarf. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. I've gone too far. <laughs> so I went pretty far before I realized, oops, I'm doing the final boss. Um, <laughs> so I, I didn't even have the fifth sage with me on that final fight. Luckily, I was pretty stacked with weapons and food, which is good because that is a hard boss fight. You fought it, right, Lionel? Yeah, but I kicked his ass. Yeah, your strat was awesome. I don't know who did it, but I saw it like on TikTok of how to build like a huge weapon that has... It's basically max damage output you can achieve with one strike, yeah, right? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> a pristine Royal Guard Claymore that was beat down until like the last hit had Mulduga Jaw attached to it. You were wearing... The bone armor, the, the glow-in-the-dark bone armor at level 3 minimum. Which um, gives you a boost to bone weapons. Yeah, uh, to, it gives you a boost to bone weapons, and the Mulduga Jaw counts as a bone. It's the strongest bone, and so you attach that to a pristine version of the Royal Guard's Claymore right before it breaks, which doubles the attack damage even further. And if you throw it, it doubles it again. And if you eat food that boosts your attack, it doubles it again. Um, so you basically do, like, just shy of a thousand damage with every sword if you throw it at his head. <laughs> I've been counting the little, uh, <laughs> multipliers and hacks that Lionel applied to this weapon, and yeah, you just then start shit-whipping them at Ganondorf. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um, so if you do that, pretty easy boss fight. I'll give you the footage, it's great. Heck yeah, <laughs> we, can, we can show it right now. Meanwhile, for me, I was pleased with the level of challenge for the final Ganondorf fight. I thought it was definitely harder than Ganon in Breath of the Wild. Well, Ganondorf was hard, and then the final like cinematic part, which I won't mm -hmm. spoil, that part was pretty easy, similar yeah. to the boar form of Ganon. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean... Granted, I Which I don't to... mind. Hard boss fight preceding, like, the more cinematic one. Yeah, I didn't actually fight Ganon. I just clowned on him with some stupid crap that I saw on the internet because I wanted to. But after fighting, like, Shadow Ganon, it was like, yeah, I could assume that it was a pretty tough fight. I cheesed it a little too hard, and I, <laughs> I, I skipped the whole fighting portion. But True, because you get a teaser for the fight with the little gloom hands that appear. Yeah, with the, the gloom hands, and if you go to the castle through the story, there's, like, a teaser, sort of, for the fight that it'll I be. forgot about that one, yeah. yeah. That one scared the piss out of me. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, the actual fight with Ganon that I did didn't personally partake in, I could assume reasonably as a gamer, you just like, yeah, that seems like a pretty tough fight. The health bar is any indication. You see it for the first time, you go, oh shit. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, then it goes yeah. off the screen. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool final boss. I didn't appreciate some of those details in the moment because it was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm in the final boss. <laughs> Even with me, I, I did a lot of grinding in the underground for just the sword that I needed because you can only find it in one place. So I did like weeks of preparation yeah. just waiting for blood moons and crap. So it's just like... Yours was easy at the cost of the time you had to invest to get to that point. <laughs> still, with the amount of damage that I could do with one weapon, I was still nervous because I was like, is this actually actually gonna work what if yeah. i break what if i run out of weapons what if it isn't enough <laughs> yeah final note i want to say about that final boss is i do like the breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom approach of having like a final boss and then having like a victory lap with the more cinematic portion good little balance i think i, I enjoy that format yeah so yeah i accidentally beat ganondorf did not have all 120 shrines <laughs>